the awkward musical transition. Okay, we did it. We did it. We have made it through the awkward musical transition. All systems appear to be working. Ho, 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 and welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here. Uh, we are not playing the correct game once again. <laughs> we are supposed to be playing Skyrim, and then I changed it over to Cthulhu Saves Christmas, but last night I ended up staying up ridiculously late watching an amazing streamer, Guiltless Gaming, by the way, uh, playing this game. And it made me want to jump back in and do some more prep work. Prep work for what, you might be asking? Well, let me uh, let me see if this works. Just a sneak peek here and just, uh, I don't know if that's actually going to show up, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We might, we might mess around with that a little bit. Not, not today, but we might, we might just give it a shot. So uh, for today, though. Today's going to be really casual. We are just hanging out. We're going to go through and maybe add a few more notes and find a few more potential exploits. Maybe figure out some fast pathing through here. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Step one, I don't think there's going to be an option, but if there was a way to glitch through this door, that would be great for us. But that is, that's really stretching it. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. No, you cannot move the cabinet prior to reading the note. So read the note, move the cabinet. So a question that I've had since our very first run of this game is when the nutcrackers open the doors, can we go through those doors? All right, come here. See me, see me, hello. There we go, there we go. Yes, you can, you can sprint through. The fact that they get stuck on doors for a little while is extremely useful. That's gonna save our butts. So obviously dying would be the worst loss of time that we could get. So generally speaking, crouching around enemies like that might be better if I don't think that we have a way out. Again, all of this is speculative. I don't I don't really know. We're learning together. Are you mad? Did I anger you? Nope, I'm about to anger him. I think we're dead. Okay, so this direction is not- oh! <laughs> this direction is not ideal. Oh, we're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. Okay. <laughs> Alright, good. That's good to know. So you're gonna charge us. And then we're oh! What the heck? I didn't know he had a projectile. Interesting! So he has something he can shoot at us that it seemed to make us run out of stamina very rapidly. And that, that I could be wrong about that. But that is the impression that I got from that attack. I don't think he's going to be able to stand on this grate, is he? Nope. Nope. That assumption was correct. So the grate is a safety zone. So he's on that side. Can we just run past him? <laughs> Not if we get hit. <laughs> Not if we get hit by a flying cage. We can't. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was uh that was a strat right there. Get hit by the cage early, let your game load. So he's going that way. Okay, that worked pretty well. Second time. <laughs> you know what's gonna kill every one of our runs? Is that machine at the end that's gonna destroy all of our attempts oh he's on us I don't think he's gonna walk in front of this blade though nope he's not he's stuck okay so that's another exploit location that's what I expected we're not really finding exploits here are we we're more just figuring out fastest route Woohoo! I forgot that there were actually cages on that one Oh, we just got extremely lucky. I need to stop running out of stamina. Also, it's in this exact moment right here that I actually understand uh, the plot of this schoolroom. Like this this part of the building. Speedrun strats get lost. They'll never see it coming. Oh, I can't I can't proceed. Still can't get past. 
There's got to be an exploit to get around that barricade, right? Because it already has the rest of the game drawn. There's just a wall here preventing us to, from going until she says something. I need to figure out how to do the elevator because I don't want to get stuck on the elevator losing time. We'll probably not hang out and do this right now, but is there a way to cheat the game to convince it to go ahead and use the elevator? Because if there is a way to cheat it and have it use the elevator early, also we can get on top of this. I don't know if that's going to help us, but that's important to know. I gotta stop running out of stamina. All right, hang on. Let's let's do a test. Full stamina. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Twelve-ish seconds. So if we just sprint for ten, how long do we have to wait before we can sprint for another ten? Five, six. Oh. So there's an invisible stamina meter then, is my assumption. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so five seconds. We need to wait for five seconds every 11 seconds of running, it seems. That's not exact. Those are not the scientific numbers. Don't hold me to it. But we can sprint for 11 seconds-ish, and then wait five seconds, and then sprint for another 11 seconds-ish. I don't know why there aren't any witch spawns right now. Oh, I had to say it. Okay, sh can she go in this room? This is actually a good test. You're going to come all the way in here, aren't you? Shockingly, yes, you are. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right. All of this stuff that we're doing right now is pretty self-explanatory. We're not really glitching anything or exploiting anything. We're just... We're just rushing. We got the lever. Is she behind us? Because that would not be the first time she's spawned behind us randomly. Oh, yep. She sure is. I don't think that was random, for the record. I think that was just poor placement on my part. Oh, hello. I see you've spawned in front of us. Yeah, so she has to see us. Or she just got locked into the door. Which, that's also a good thing to know, is once... We need to test that, too. I should really start a list of things to test. But once they activate a door, I think they're locked in to at least go to the other side of that door. I caught that on stream last night when I was watching uh, Guiltless play this. And that is a behavior that appeared to be consistent. If we were able to jump out of bounds out of the elevator, could we fall through? Because I doubt this game has any sort of fall damage. Alright, so this is going to be the Muppets. And their relevant Christmas carol. Not dying is key. Not dying is key. That's the wrong way. Going the right way is also key. There's a lot of keys to this building. And we're holding none of them. <laughs> Alright, I doubt we can just sprint past this guy, right? Let's try it, though. Alright. I stand corrected. Oh, there's a visible wall. Oh man, I definitely just tried to death charge into Krampus and crew. Okay, so there is an invisible wall here. Sprinting past that one Muppet, uh, the first one that we encounter, seems very, very iffy. Right? Because I jumped over the box and he didn't grab us, but I feel like he wanted to. I really, really feel like he wanted to. So that is going to be something that is going to have to be tested a bit in the actual run. I should have tested it now. I really should have just wiped. Okay, approach the guy. So we have to talk to this guy as well. So this kid is still chitter-chattering. This is a long conversation. Again, I'm curious if there's a way to exploit for us to get past these barricades. Because if we could, that would save us a lot of time. What if I restart once he starts talking? That'll be another test that we have to make. <laughs> Bye. Oh god, it's locked. <laughs> Did anyone else just see that? Did anyone else just see that nutcracker get totally stuck on that doorway? Because that is something that we might be able to exploit. Alright, get angry. 
Then if I close this gate, do you just forget I exist? Yeah. Either, either you do forget I exist? Are you mad at me? Oh, you do get stuck on doorways. You do indeed. You... Okay, yeah, so we can just straight sprint on the other side of a doorway here. Yeah, he'll get totally stuck. If I crouch in that moment when he first gets stuck, does he stay stuck? Come on. And then you get stuck on the door. No, okay, you don't forget. And we do keep going. Okay, we're at the spinny death blades. Oh, look at these pro gamer moves. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, we almost made it through there on our first try. Can we just sprint straight through? No, we get we get caught pretty much crouch walking. So I want to time how long it takes us to get to the middle if we just run straight. Even with having to crouch. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it's not going to be faster. It's just not. Because you have to stay crouched and then to jump over that middle bit is pretty much just luck. I think I am going to actually add a segment there. I'm going to add a segment because I know that I suck at that part. So I know that trying to save time as far as deaths is concerned is going to be huge. Sprint across. Krampus isn't here yet. I need to test something. I'm going to have to test something. Can we get the strange cube early? Is there a way to glitch it out? Oh, intriguing. <laughs> so on insane difficulty, Krampus and Cruz shows up after one. That's very interesting. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to cheese this cube. Not yet, at least. We'll do that later. Cheese and cubes. Not as good as cheese and bread, but pretty close. You're gonna drop, aren't you? I knew it! You evil, evil little platform. How do we still have this in our inventory? How did that occur? That's an interesting glitch. What if we... What if we went around and opened all the buttons first? That would be slower. That'd be a lot slower, because we have to move around. But it'd also be a lot safer for us. Because we don't have to worry about Krampus as early. And we could have the squirt gun already out for the elf. That strategy does work, though. That does seem to be effective. Yeah, so that's locked. If we could find some cheese to get over there, I wonder if we can hit the exit queue to just leave. Easily our biggest time sink at this point is just me being bad at the game and dying. I feel like there's a lot of glitches that we could exploit pretty easily in this game. I, I just don't know where they are. We'll have to find them. Because all we need is that box. Well, no, no, no. Let's go even more basic than that. All we need is to get to right there. Because right on this catwalk is our, our queue, our scene queue, to end the game. So if we can get to that catwalk... I don't know if we need this cube or not, but if we can get this cube, it means we don't have to turn off these four tentacles. And if we can not turn off the tentacles, all we do is show up, jump, grab the cube, and then leave. So there's a lot of ways in this area that I believe time could be saved that I just haven't found yet. So it's gonna be interesting over time to see how this develops. Because we already found a way to completely break the house. It'd be nice if we could find a way to sequence break the house, though. Like, skip the whole intro bit. But I have no idea how we would do that. Because the notes... We already know the notes don't show up until you do A, B, and C. You can't get D until then. Because we need a way to get past that staircase safely. Because that staircase keeps killing us. 
I wonder if this cube just doesn't exist until after we push the buttons. Like, the, the hitbox for grabbing it might not be real until after we've turned everything else off. If we could just drop to right there, that'd be perfect. My current thinking is, if the ceiling doesn't exist for some magical reason, we just pop out over the ceiling and jump back down to the bottom. I very much enjoy this game, and I, I can't recommend it enough. It really is a good game and worth playing. And it has multiplayer, so the more people that play it, the better. We're just gonna gun it. And end. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we have, generally speaking, our route planned. There are a lot of improvements that need to be made, but generally speaking. I don't know why they went with Somewhere Over the Rainbow, but I dig it. I like music boxes. I also like snow globes a lot. Music boxes and snow globes. Combine the two. Chef's Kiss. I would like a sequel to this game. I, I really like these developers a lot. I love what they did with this game. This is extremely enjoyable for me personally. So I would love to see them make another one or more content. Like, they just released the multiplayer update. That was a couple months ago. I think October, right? So I would love to have even more content to it. Don't get me wrong. It's a full game, and it's absolutely worth... What is it? $15? $20? It's absolutely worth it, in my opinion. However, when somebody makes something you like, you just always want more. Only caught by eight enemies, too. With all the shenanigans, we were only caught by eight. We almost got the uh, achievement for perfect stealth. Okay. Hour and 36 minutes in game time. This is the first time in my life. Well, okay, that's that's not entirely true. This is the first time ever recorded that I will be attempting an actual speed run. Like a, like a proper speed run. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to mess it up. I'm sorry if I do it wrong. But we're going to try it. As soon as I have character control, that's when I'm starting the timer. As soon as I have character control. Where are you going to spawn? What inconvenient location are you going to pop into today? Right, literally right next to us. Did anyone else see that? Hacks. Hacks. 